Waziri wa Shughuli za Uchimbaji Madini na Ustawi wa Uchumi wa Bahari Salim Mvuria amesema serikali italainisha shughuli za wachimbaji madini wadogo kuambatana na mwongozo mpya katika wizara yake. So I think the first reform that we want to do in the country is basically to decriminalize artisanal mining so that artisanal miners at whatever level can be recognized and can be supported directly by government. Aliongeza kuwa lengo lake la kukutana na wachimbaji madini wadogo ni kutatua masuala yanayokuwa vizingiti kwa wachimbaji wadogo hiyo ikiwa njia moja ya kuimarisha sekta ya uchimbaji madini humu nchini. So in the mining sector we will be running a number of reforms so that we are able to organize this sector because we know here in Migori apart from gold there is also copper and I think we will be discussing with the governor to work together so that we quantify the minerals in this particular county. Mvuria alisema tayari serikali imetambua vikundi sitini na sita vya wachimbaji madini wadogo katika kaunti ya Migori ambavyo vitasaidiwa kuunda vyama vya ushirika na mikopo ili kujiinua. Uh, we should have a uh, small mining committee uh, which is composed of officers and people from Migori and also the national government and their major responsibility is to ensure that they also participate in issuance of mining permits at this level. Aliendelea kusema kwamba Jumba la Madini House jijini Nairobi litaimarishwa na kuafikia viwango vya kimataifa ili kuwekwa maabara ya kupima madini badala ya kutoa kazi hiyo kwa kampuni za kimataifa. We are actually modernizing our Madini House in Nairobi uh, so that then we can quantify our minerals within the country. So very soon uh, we want Madini House to be uh, registered as in an international lab so that then we stop this business of taking minerals uh, to neighboring countries. Governor Ochilo Ayako alitoa wito kwa serikali kuwawezesha zaidi wachimbaji wa madini katika kaunti zinazozalisha madini ili kuzinua kiuchumi. To really uh, look at the reality and the policies that uh, the national government which currently is responsible for mining uh, is trying to roll out. Uh, are... Mwenyekiti wa chama cha wachimbaji madini wadogo humu nchini Dan Odida alishauri serikali kufutilia mbali sheria zinazowabagua wachimbaji madini wadogo na kulainisha sekta hiyo kwa lengo la kuwapa uwezo wa kujiinua. The 2016 Mining Act deliberately decided to separate artisanal mining from small scale mining. And this has, has brought about confusion in status so that many miners do not know whether they are artisanal or they are small scale. Joy Nzula, Undugu TV.